What's up guys, David Chirac here. Today I'm going to be recapping the Raptors 123 to 117 win over the Brooklyn Nets. I don't want any excuses from any Brooklyn Nets fans. I don't want any asterisks next to this game. Even though the Nets didn't have KD for most of this game, I'll talk about that a little bit later. I mean, you still got two Hall of Famers. You got Kyrie, you got James Harden. There's no way the Nets should have lost this game. And they found a way to lose it. Um, the Nets have looked honestly pretty disappointing so far in my opinion at least once again their defense couldn't do anything the Raptors they gave up 123 points to the Raptors um so yeah let's talk about KD for a little bit I'm going to talk about the Raptors performances everything but KD at the beginning of this game was ruled out due to COVID health and safety protocols. Um, so he actually came off the bench for the first time in his career, um, which is kind of funny. But, yeah, he comes in. He plays, like, how many minutes? Like, 15 minutes or something? Maybe. Let's see here. Plays 19 minutes. Um, but then he gets taken out again um, and has to go back to the locker room again because – of health and safety protocols again, um, which is honestly kind of concerning because this team is this team. The Raptors were playing KD, and if they have a concern about him maybe being in contact with someone that had COVID, um, that's kind of scary for the Raptors. The Raptors might have to uh, have some of their games postponed coming up here. We'll have to see what happens, but yeah. KD still played 19 minutes, still gave him eight points, six rebounds, five assists in those 19 minutes, which just shows how good he is. But um, the Raptors pick up a an amazing, uh, impressive, just gutsy win over the Brooklyn Nets. Fred Van Vliet coming off his 54-point game. Struggled shooting the ball, <laughs> one for nine from three, uh, going from 11 from f 11 for 14 to one for nine. Not the greatest, uh, four for 16 from the field. But the thing that matters with Fred is that this man hit one of the biggest shots of the game. Um, I believe the Raptors were up three. Norman Powell got the rebound, I believe. The offensive rebound kicked it out to Kyle, to Pascal, to Fred on the wing. He was pretty open. Knocks down that three, the first one of his game. Steady Freddy. Makes it a six-point game. Um, the Nets actually did a pretty good job defending Fred Van Vliet, especially Joe Harris. Joe Harris was the one guarding him most of the night. And um, he didn't really give Fred any space, so shout-out to Joe Harris for that. Um, Fred, though, hit the big shot. 11 points, four rebounds, four assists. Two steals, two blocks. Still bringing the defense. Like, like I said in my previous video, Fred has to have serious consideration to make an all-defensive team if he keeps playing this well defensively, um, especially considering he's got one of the shortest wingspans in the NBA. He's six foot. His wingspan is six foot two. Um, yeah, two blocks, two steals. Like getting two, getting three blocks last game and then getting two blocks this game is just so impressive with how short he is, with how short his arms are. Um, so shout out to Fred Van Vliet. Didn't have the greatest game, but hit a big shot. Played good defense. Played good defense on Kyrie especially. Um, Kyrie was honestly kind of non-existent tonight. Kind of a no-show. Kyrie had 15 points, five rebounds, five assists. I mean, he was still six for 12 from the field, but he didn't hit a three. Um, it just, it he wasn't really making much of an impact, it seemed like, out there. Um, so shout out to Fred, kind of kind of limiting Kyrie there. Um, let's talk about Kyle Lowry, man. Kyle Lowry, do not poke the bear. I mean, he was having a great game throughout the whole game, but as soon as this dude got poked in the eye, uh, or elbowed in the eye, actually, by TLC, um, blood coming down his face, looking like Fred Van Vliet in the finals, Gets the bandage, also looking like Fred Van Vliet in the finals. And then he goes Fred Van Vliet mode. Kyle, 6 for 9 from 3 tonight. 12 for 18, 30 points, 5 rebounds, 7 assists. He had two really clutch triples, I think, in the fourth quarter there. There might have been more than two. Um, he was playmaking in the fourth. It wasn't that he was just scoring, too. He was involving everyone around him, getting teammates open getting teammates good shots and that you see that with the seven assists there two steals as well um yeah man shout out to kyle lowry i mean that's just the heart of a champion right there that's what kyle lowry does 30 points just hitting clutch shots making the right passes playing good defense being the leader this that this team needs and pascal siakam as well 33 points 11 rebounds and six assists including three steals and a block for Pascal Siakam. Best game 
of the season so far for Pascal. Honestly, I'd say this is the biggest win and the best win for this Raptors team um, so far this season, going up against a Nets team with the big three. Obviously, it was more of the big two tonight, but you still you still have two Hall of Famers, James Harden, Kyrie Irving, so shout out to this team, man. Pascal was great tonight. Getting into the paint, um, he was great against... I believe Sacramento and then Orlando. Then he struggled the second game against Orlando, but he's back to getting into the paint here. And it's what I like to see. He only took two threes tonight. He hasn't made a three in a while, but it's all good because he's getting in the paint. As you can see, 12 for 23 from the field. Uh, got to the line 10 times, hit nine of those free throws. Pascal was just great tonight. Playing some. That one block was actually a pretty clutch block. Um, the one that was overturned on the coach's challenge on Bruce Brown, I believe. Um, so Pascal, great game for Pascal, bringing the energy, finding playmaking. His playmaking has gotten so much better this year, um, just making the right plays. And uh, he had a couple layups that he couldn't finish, which was kind of tough to see, but he was getting fouled a lot. And he, like I said, he went to the line 10 times. So Pascal was just aggressive, smart. It's what I like to see. Um, Norman Powell was great tonight, making his shots, hit three threes, 18 points, five boards. Um, once again, without OG and Obi in this game, so you need that from Norman Powell. Um, Chris Boucher kind of returned to form here, 17 points, nine rebounds. Much more efficient this game than he has been in the past. He's kind of, kind of, Kind of fallen off in these past couple games, but it's good to see him have a good game here tonight. DeAndre Bembry came in as well, played 24 minutes, played great defense on Kyrie and James Harden. Uh, same with Stanley Johnson. I feel like when Stanley was in, he had a couple good defensive possessions against KD and James Harden. Uh, Bembry, five points, two boards, four assists. Efficient, hit a three. Um, so yeah, overall, just a great team win for the Toronto Raptors. Kyle Lowry was looking like Fred Van Vliet. And don't even get me started on the refs in this game. The refs were honestly horrible. Um, in that first quarter there, the Nets had 17 free throws. The Raptors had three. But the funny thing is, the Raptors were plus 10 in points in the paint. So it's not like the Raptors weren't being aggressive. They were being aggressive. They were the much more aggressive this whole t or the much more aggressive team this whole game. And uh, they just weren't getting to the line, which made no which made no sense. Um, the Raps were up 17 at one point in the second quarter. The, the Nets made a little bit of a run. That's what you can expect with this team. Um, they're going to hit their threes. They hit a lot of threes, it seemed like, tonight. And um, But the Raps weathered the storm, played good defense when they needed to, um, hit big shots when they needed to. I actually want to see how many threes this team hit tonight. Um, the Nets, why can't I? I hate NBA.com when you go team comparison and you can't see. Brooklyn hit... 17 threes. So yeah, they hit a good amount of threes tonight, but the Raptors got the stops when they needed and my camera is dying. So I'm going to finish this up here. Great win for the boys. I believe we play the Hawks tomorrow. So hopefully we can get another dub, push this win streak to four. Um, that's 10 and 12 on the season. So we're looking a lot better. Eight. We've won eight out of the last 12 games. So shout out to the Raps. Great win. Um, Freddie kind of struggled, but it's all good because he's going to bounce back next game. So that's going to do it for this video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. If you did, make sure to leave a like, make sure to subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.